Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If y'all are new here, my name is Cam. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Today, I'm going to do an updated makeup routine while actually going in depth to the products because the last time I did like a video like this, I was just talking about my car crash and it was just super depressing. So I figured I would do like a happy one today and hold on, I'm sweating already and just show you guys my updated makeup routine with products that I've been loving. So without further ado, Let's just get right on into it. Also, excuse the fan. It's just because I get, like, sweaty while I'm doing my makeup. First things first, I already washed my face. I put on my favorite moisturizer by Pharmacy. Now I'm just going to use the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops. This stuff is so great. And I do have the full pack of this. It's just I don't want to use the full thing while I have, like, the mini. Oh, my God, I forgot to pull back my hair. These little clippy things I got off of Amazon. So I'm just going to pull back my hair. I also put on the Laneige lip mask so that my lips stay nice and moisturized. This is like a product I've consistently used for like years since like college. Okay, moving on. We're gonna prime using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Everyone like raves about this and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna use this. This is just what it looks like. It's a very, very, very creamy consistency and I really like it because it really really hydrates the skin put a bunch on you really don't need a lot but my skin's been super dry recently because of the winter really focus this really everywhere your makeup only looks as good as your skin looks so prepping and priming is like really important to me obviously can't forget about the neck so now that that's all done I am like deciding on whether or not I want to try the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation which is a beautiful skin foundation or if I want to use like my tried and true the Giorgio Armani because this is what I've like actually been using I think I want to try this I think this one I'm gonna do okay let's do it I'm just gonna move y'all over a little bit just because I want to do a TikTok on it because y'all I've been loving TikTok to blend it out I'm gonna be using a beauty blender from Sephora but let's try it out I'm so excited so I also just like mobile ordered this through um the buy online pick up and store Bobus so I have no idea if this is the correct foundation jade so I'm <laughs> really nervous so I'm just gonna pump a few on the back of my hand all right, so I have two drops. I honestly think I did a pretty good shade match. And I'm just gonna, ooh, it's thick. It's very thick. I'm gonna dot it all over my face, like so. Oh my God, I'm a really good, like, match. Okay, I'm just blending this out and I'm just trying to see, like, how it looks. Okay, the consistency very much reminds me of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. However, I see a lot more coverage than the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So far, I'm really liking it. I like how it has like the loom, the luminous. Oh my god. I like love it a lot. And I'm such a good shade matcher. What the hell? Sephora, hire me. Oh my god. I literally just looked online and like figured it out for myself and it matches freaking perfectly. I think I have a new favorite foundation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so now that that's on first impressions, I freaking love it. It's literally like a mix of my two favorite foundations. Hollywood Flawless Filter and the Giorgio Armani. Had a baby and made this. I'm very happy. Okay, moving on. So, we are gonna conceal using my favorite concealer. This is my all-time favorite concealer in the entire world. This is a, it's the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It's so good. So I'm just going to put this right there, center of my forehead, down the nose, chin, and oh my god, like it literally covered, this foundation literally covered like almost all my imperfections, but I'm just going to add some extra coverage and then I'm just going to go up. For concealer, I don't really like going lighter because I don't really see the point because I don't like when I'm taking like flash photos, I don't like having to like worry about flashback, you know what I mean? Like I just don't want my under eyes to be like white, you know? Love this concealer, this I like go back and forth with. Like I'll find like another concealer that I really like, which is a Pat McGrath one. And I love the Pat McGrath one. However, I just got bored of it. This one's just always been like a tried and true. So I just, you know, really trust it. So I just love it. And it just blends in so nicely, like, do you see this? You guys, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I hope y'all can tell like how good it is. Concealer is blended. So now we are gonna contour using the Jaclyn Cosmetics 
toasty cream bronzer love this stuff all right i haven't used it in a minute so i'm a little nervous to revisit it i think i put too much on and you're supposed to like put it i guess like higher than you normally would i'm just gonna put it around the forehead and then on the nose all right and then i'm just gonna blend it with my beauty blender because jacqueline hill is like one of the few that i trust with like makeup products i know she's like controversial and whatever but like people make freaking mistakes i don't agree with cancel culture at all i really don't i know if i like owned a beauty brand i'd like fuck up so many times so i'm not here to judge you know so but i love how that blended on top of the foundation and concealer makeup is so fun when like you find the right products like i can't like oh my god okay now we are gonna use blush if i can find her everyone's favorite blush the rare beauty everyone says it's a dupe for the charlotte tilbury and i cannot seem to get my hands on the charlotte tilbury which is fine whatever but like can we please keep it in stock you guys like stop selling it out but whatever i really do love the rare beauty blush i've been trying to get my hands on one of the highlighters and the girl that i watched on tiktok i have no idea who it is so i'm so sorry if, like I, I don't know who it is so i can't tell you she tried out one of the golden highlighters from rare beauty and it looked freaking beautiful so like i want to try it but y'all already sold it out so i can't even try it it's ridiculous uh moving on so we are gonna use my my tried and true translucent powder i know y'all are probably gonna think it's a uh, laura mercier but it's not the hourglass is like just 10 times better i'm sorry if you're gonna spend like a ton of money on a highlight or not a highlighter a um translucent powder just get the freaking hourglass one it's so much more worth your money and i'm just gonna use my beauty blender again to press in this powder and I always start at my eyes because those are usually the first to crease my lids. And I pretty much just blot this on as if it's foundation. Like, do y'all see the difference? Like, it just, it blurs your pores. It's so amazing. Like, this is genuinely the best powder I've ever used. There's no flashback, nothing. It just makes your skin look like 10 times better. And it doesn't make your skin feel dry either. And obviously it's tra translucent, which makes it so much, that much better. And so I learned this technique from Jaclyn Hill. And um, the only way like product is gonna, or powder product is gonna lay nicely on top of your skin is if your skin is completely set. And I understand a lot of people, like it's trendy to be dewy nowadays. I understand like a lot of people don't really like that, but just like make sure, oh see, like just make sure your skin doesn't feel tacky. And the powder will lay super nicely on top of your skin and it just makes all the freaking difference oh my god my under eyes look beautiful my skin freaking just looks beautiful so yeah the hourglass powder has always been a fan favorite of mine moving on so we are gonna use the charlotte tilbury bronzer i've been a huge fan of charlotte tilbury this year or as of the end of um 2022 or 20 oh my god 2022 2021 what i meant to say i've just been a huge fan of brand like she's never done me wrong you know i also use shade three tan i just love this bronzer so much um i used to love the Too faced bronzer but what i learned is that it was making my makeup look so cakey like i just hate it i like it worked for me for so long but then i was just like realizing just like how cakey the product made my skin look and like now we have beef like i hate Too Faced now and then what i do i take this little i've had this blending brush since like i started makeup i just take it on this little brush and i just go in on my lid and i use it as like a transition shade don't worry i'm gonna get to my lids in a little bit but what i do to emphasize my nose contour is i like bring it down from my eyelid and just emphasize my nose contour i have no issue with my nose i actually quite love my nose but just having a nose contour just makes you look all the more snatched and i just love the way this bronzer makes it look and it just mm. do you like see the illusion like ooh, it's so good I love it and that's it for the bronzer like I, I love it so much so that's it for bronzer and then moving on to blush I use the Patrick Ta if I can ever open it 
and this is just what it looks like it's the she's that girl i really like it i used to like not believe in getting like expensive blush but like now i do i used to only only do drugstore blush but like now i like love blush it's like one of my favorite parts of my routine now look how pretty it looks oh i put a lot on yikes <laughs> I didn't realize how pigmented that was. Moving on. We are going to use some highlighter. And I use the Jaclyn Hill highlighter in Skylight. Again, I really wanted to try the Rare Beauty one, but that's okay. Jaclyn Hill is also, like, known for her highlighting. So, I just obviously trust her with my, all my highlighting decisions. And I just love how this makes my skin look. Like, it's just beautiful. Do it at the tip of my nose or the what's this called i don't know the in between my eyebrows and at the tip of my nose i just like the illusion it gives by like not going all the way down and i do at the tips of my eyebrows cupid's bow chin i just love looking like a bronze and highlighted goddess at this point i use the airbrush flawless filter setting spray just to set everything in that i've been using and then I just let that set. We are going to move on to the eyes. I got this little palette for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it. It's just a Charlotte Tilbury palette and it's the, uh, I don't even know what this is called, but it's the easy eye palette for the darling look and I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two shades right here. Y'all can see just the lightest brown shades. I'm gonna use the lighter brown as a transition with the bronzer. It just gives you the most beautiful look. And I'm just gonna blend that in. Sorry, I know y'all can't see me. And then I'm gonna use the second darkest brown shade. I know this isn't that um, detailed, but I'm trying my hardest, you guys. I'm not the best makeup guru. But wanna know what's funny? I literally used to do people's prom makeup from like my school and people trusted me with their fucking lives. Like I was, I must have been pretty good then. Honestly, if you're one of the girls I did for prom makeup, please comment down below. I had like literal clients, you guys. Yeah, I had literal clients. It was so fun. I loved doing prom makeup. And I had like obviously like my favorite girls. It was just so fun. Like I literally had like a full schedule. Like I was literally like a little makeup salon in my room. Like it was so fun. So now I'm going to take those two same shades. These, this palette is so pigmented. Um, and I'm just going to bring it down my waterline to give my eyes some more definition. And just so that it like blends a lot better. You guys, I love how this foundation is sitting on top of my skin. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm so impressed with myself with, like, getting the correct shade. Like, I never do that. It, like, gives you, like, a nice little smoky look, and it's so pretty. Okay, now that that's over with, we are now gonna go in with the sparkly shades. And I always use the lightest one. I think it's so pretty. And it's super pigmented. So I just put that, holy shit. Do you see how pigmented that is? It's freaking nuts. So I'm just gonna put that in the middle of my eye. Like, y'all could use this as a freaking highlighter shade i think it's so pretty and then i put it in the tear duct area to make my eyes a little bit bigger and then don't worry i'm not leaving it like this i take my finger and i just blend that in perfect and then i just take the fluffy part of the brush and i just blend it all together so that it's not like crazy looking there's the eyeshadow look yes as you guys can see i do my brows now and i let them grow out i know it's crazy super crazy i don't know why i just been like kind of sick of the thin brow look and i've always had the thin brows but i've been letting them grow and i've been using the grande brow along with the grande lash and i've just been really enjoying having full brows again i like it a lot so what i use for my brows is just this brow pencil from charlotte tilbury you guys i love charlotte tilbury all of her products i swear to god just work wonders for me you guys i was kind of hoping i would hate her foundation like the newer one because i really like the giorgio armani but like everyone uses the giorgio armani so i wanted to switch it up a little bit and i freaking love how my skin looks i'm still so surprised that i got the shade right for my eyebrows i literally just fill in like any sparse areas so i pretty much just like draw on like extra brows and i drag down the tail of my eyebrow and uh, then i just brush it out that's it and then for my mascara, I've had so many like breakthrough products that I freaking love, okay? Like love, love. And I've 
concluded my search for the perfect mascara combination, okay? Like, I've narrowed it down completely. And I'm very proud of myself for doing so because y'all know, like, I'm very particular with my mascara. Okay, so my all-time, like, favorite, favorite, favorite mascara is the Ilia fullest volumizing mascara this mascara does freaking wonders okay but because i don't want to use it all because y'all are selling it the freak out i've been using the other ilia mascara which is like probably so surprising to you guys because i'm like such a ride or die ilia fullest volume i've been using the after midnight mascara mixed with the pat mcgrath dark store dark star freaking amazing i'm gonna show you guys like how good it is so i'll just start off with this mascara so once this mascara is on i'm gonna do a few more coats because i like it when it's dry i don't put any mascara on my lower lashes then we go in with the pat mcgrath dark star and this is just amazing this is so amazing i keep using the mini because i haven't been able to find the full version so and then you just this is what gives the full like false lashes effect like do y'all see the difference do you see the difference it's freaking amazing let me just finish putting this on because yeah it's just too good it's too good to be true like that combo is like my new ride or die so good i haven't tried the pat mcgrath dark star by itself but i'm sure it's beautiful but that combined is just freaking chef's kiss all right and then i'm going to try something new for my lips so i have the pillow talk 2 medium from charlotte tilbury and the pillow talk lipstick but i don't like using lipstick so i'm not gonna use this so i'm gonna try using pillow talk lip liner and my favorite lip gloss or chapstick i should say because i saw on tiktok that this is rather popular so i'm gonna try it out oh my god i'm nervous i don't do lip liner can y'all even tell the difference i guess you can this is kind of cute i don't mind it and then i know my lips are still already glossy but it can never be too glossy boom i finally like found like a really good routine and that foundation literally looks beautiful so i'm obsessed i'm gonna do my hair using the dyson air wrap so these are the attachments that i use for the dyson air wrap they're just the longer barrels and i believe you can just order them online you can't pick them up in store for some reason but um i'm just gonna do my hair really quick and just show y'all how i do it there's really like nothing special to it but why the freak not and i washed my hair last night so hold on and you want to do it away from the face so i also just part my hair just so that um it's an easier way to go about curling the hair i'm just gonna brush it out and um i do have the olaplex number six and seven i believe they are the oil in the bond smoothener do this and to turn it on you just do this gonna switch attachments like this literally took me less than like two minutes it's like freaking ridiculous how amazing this thing is all right so i just finished the top and then i'm just gonna pull up the bottom and then i just run my fingers through it and that's it so my updated get ready with me y'all now i'm actually gonna go so thank you guys so much for watching i love y'all so much and once again i'll see y'all in my next video bye